I'm tracking reports of fallen splicers spotted in and around the Hellmouth. Intel suggests they're hunting ogres. Get down there. Make sure they don't snatch up any more fodder for their twisted experiments. Hey guys, we'll be back here with another Destiny 1 strike gameplay. This is the second strike I'm posting. Uh, this is also funny, this is the second uh, strike I'm recording. First one was on Dying Mind, which we'll see later on as the eighth strike. Um, this is the second strike you ever do in Destiny. It's called The Summoning Bits. Right now, though, it is brought back. This is Rise of Iron. It was uh, Sivified with the Rise of Iron. Brought back to Max Light. Originally, this was actually left in Year 1 at Year 1 Light Values. No time for sightseeing, you two. Hit the Summoning Bits before the Devil Splicers can grab any more abominations for their priests to play around with. By play around, you mean torture, vivisect, and disembowel? Well, yeah. But when you put it that way, I almost feel bad for the hive. So why the hive? Seems like a dangerous fight to pick. The Splicers are plain god. They view Siva as a means to reshape life how they see fit. The Hive are just victims of the Splicer's willingness to push their curiosity. Triptych of Hive Runes. It's a lock. Open it. I'm on it. <laughs> Some funny banter. So this was brought back with the Rise of Iron expansion. Originally, this was left in year one. Um, left at year one power levels. And I believe it was one of two strikes left behind. The other one was the Nexus Mind that we got later on. So this was pretty cool when it was brought back. A little nostalgia from year one. So I believe this and... Uh, yeah, this strike and... Uh, not only the Nexus Mind, which was uh, brought back later on in the third year of Destiny with the, in the Rise of Iron expansion. This is, uh, it, was brought up, it was brought back in the Dawning, which was around Christmas time. The year Rise of Iron came out. But anyways. Also, Septic's, Septic's Perfected was uh, Septic's Prime brought back, which was the Devil Lair's Strike, which uh, was the first video, which, is, which was the last video I did. So these first two videos were uh, brought back later. And that's why they're different. They're both Sivified. Both old strikes brought back for nostalgia purposes. And to have all strikes active at the end. Which I believe all strikes, yeah. I went through. All these strikes are playable at max light at the end. Which was their obviously their, their purpose. Their point. Their goal. Was to have everything playable. In some way or fashion. Same thing they did with the same thing with the raids. They brought all the raids back so that you know you could play all the raids at Room's max light. We're through. At the end of Destiny, so if you pick it up a couple years later, all the stuff is relevant at least to max level. But pretty fun strike on the moon. If you can tell already, go down. You fought, fight some hive. You fight some fallen. Where's the hive? I can eat a grenade, and a palm, and another palm, and we can just scoot right through there. Uh, this strike was also where you got Thorn. Um, the last step was to, to play a really hard version of the strike to unlock Thorn. That scream reminds me how much I hate this place. And when I was brought back in year three in the Rise of Iron, you had to play the strike again to get Thorn, but it wasn't as hard. You actually just happened to, you had to open the... Uh, loot catch at the end. So just like I did on the Undying Mine, which you won't see, you have to use a Splicer Key. So sorry, I just I just played the Undying Mine, which is a strike you'll, you'll watch me play a little bit later on. I'm posting these in order as they came out. Oh shit. There's a guy here. That was close. But uh, Skeleton Keys are actually a new thing with the Rise of Iron and allows you to get strike specific loot by using them. But you don't get one every strike. They're pretty rare to get. But you can you can hold on to them and use them to get the uh, gear from the strike that you actually want. 
or still need. So in this case, you needed to use one to get Thorn as a last step, which was pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to have to find another way. I don't care Ow. if you have to hitch a ride on a tomb ship, Guardian. I need you in those summoning pits. So perfect point. Normally, where I just died, you'd actually go left, but that's blocked off by the splicers. So actually, a pretty cool. I'll show you over here. A pretty cool dynamic. So it's blocked off here. Normally, you could, we'd go walk right through there and go to the uh, boss room. But a pretty cool uh, mechanic is that you actually have to jump on a tomb ship. With tomb ship, which is a uh, you'll see these. You've seen this before in the story playthrough, which is the uh, of the hive ships. You have to ride on that. You have to jump off the one to the other. You'll see it here in a second to actually get That's over there. A long way down. So. You know, don't fall. And this was actually a jump, jumping puzzle in the uh, King's Fall raid, which was the Taken King raid. You had to actually, in the beginning, you had to jump from tomb ship to tomb ship to get through. And that had like ten tomb ships. This only has two. But again, this is this is Destiny at its finest, where you actually learn f from previous encounters and strikes or story missions to actually learn what to do in the raid. And this guy's giving a cheeky wave to the guy Get that fell off jump. and died back there. I think he just died himself. He didn't make it in. He made it in. Almost knocked me off, that bastard. I'm detecting heavy splicer signatures. They're already here. Get in there, Guardian. Put the splicers down and end whatever monstrosity the hive are conjuring. So we got a big ass ogre. You gotta be careful though. He does shoot void at us, which would really hurt if it hit us. Take care of these guys. So we gotta find a safe vantage point, which is not right here. Take care of these guys up here. There we go. Let me use some heavy on this guy. He's already almost dead, which is nice. Let's get his crit spot. Nope, can't get his crit spot. I don't know though. Nice if we got another super. Got some more splicers coming up in the steps. This has changed a little bit since year one. And there you go, he is dead. Cracking the secrets of so this is the chest. I'm not gonna grab it, I don't need it. Combining what they learn with Siva's potential, that would give the splicers a whole new bag of tricks. Sounds like a nightmare. Yes, it does. Good thing you put a stop to it. So this is normally a spot people uh, back in year one would would uh fight from because there's a lot of cover it's safe from the guys up top or that they would shoot at you and you can pick off at the uh at the ogre this guy's shooting at me how you doing guys okay so thanks for watching catch up the streams i do at twitch.tv slash doughboy248 live usually sunday through thursday from midnight to two starting earlier on tuesdays and wednesdays with an occasional midday stream on monday wednesday and thursdays so thanks for watching. Stick around for the rest of the strikes from Destiny 1, especially if you're new to Destiny 2. You can see the history, see where we've come from. Or just use this as an archive when you hear about a strike and want to know about it. So thanks. Keep watching, guys. Have fun in Destiny 2. All right.